When I want to impress my loved ones with a fantastic dessert, this is what I make them. It's a pistachio and apricot tart. Now, before I make the pastry, I'm just going to measure out one cup of flour. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to add a crumble on top of it. This is so yummy. So that can go into a bowl with the sugar. And then the rest of this pastry flour can go into a food processor. This plain flour is perfect for making pastry because we're going to get a lovely flaky finish on it. So in to the food processor, along with some butter, cold butter when you're making pastry. 80 grams of sugar. And Pop the lid on it and just bind everything together and then I'll add an egg. Okay, this is the consistency we're after. See how it's a crumb and it's just coming together? I'll add a pinch of salt. Always when you're making pastry, add some salt and then we'll crack one egg straight into our food processor. Now I'll bind this again. I'm pretty happy with that, so this needs to rest in the fridge for one hour. A big piece of cling film onto the board, and then we'll gather this pastry together and press it into a disc. So just use your hands to mould it. And once we've got a disc, we'll cover that up and then into the fridge. If I started to roll this out straight away, it would just fall apart completely. So, let's rest it. Now, for a quick crumble, I'll place the pistachios into the food processor. Lid goes on, and I'm just going to blend these until they become a fine crumb. Excellent, that's what I'm after, that bright green colour and they're finely crushed. So we'll just gather that mixture and I'll place this back into the bowl with that one cup of flour and the extra sugar. And then just like you would make any other crumble, we're just going to use our fingertips to incorporate the butter. So a little butter can go in there. And then we're going to crumble everything together and once this is done, we can pop it to the side. We just need to wait for that pastry to chill and then we can start rolling it out. So the pastry is firmed up so we can start rolling this out to begin assembling our tart. So extra plain flour and we're just going to lightly dust our board. We'll take this out of the cling film. You can do this between two pieces of baking paper too, if you like. I'm going to do it the old school way. A little more flour on the top. And then we'll grab our rolling pin and we're going to start rolling the pastry out. So when you're working with pastry, you want to work quite fast because the more you fiddle around with it, the more it melts because there's butter in it. So you want to be rolling at a steady pace so we can get it straight into that tin. When you're rolling, never move your body around to turn the pastry. Always move the pastry to make it that perfect circular shape. So just roll, turn, and then roll again, and you'll see we're going to get that round shape that we need to fit into the tin. And do roll it out about two to three centimetres larger than your tin, so there's a slight amount overlapping so we can make a nice edge on our tart. OK, to get it into the tin, we're just going to very carefully roll it halfway onto the rolling pin. I'll grab my tin and then we're going to place it in it. If it breaks a bit, it's OK. It's because it's a short crust pastry and we'll just patch it back up later on. It's home cooking. That's what it's all about. Hey, that worked. Perfect. So now we're just going to slowly bring in the sides and press it in so we have no gaps whatsoever. And then we just cut 
cut off the excess pastry by pressing on the sides. You can reform this and use this for something else later on. And to neaten this up, just press on the sides of the tin. I'm just going to pierce this with a fork. That'll ensure we get an even cook for the pastry. And I'll place that onto a tray. That'll just make it easier to put into the oven and then out of the oven. Now let's fill this with the apricots. And I'm using a can of apricots. I've drained them from the liquid. They're quite soft already, but I'm just gonna break them up because we wanna release some of their juices. And to make them extra sweet, some icing sugar. So a few tablespoons of icing sugar and mix that in. Great. Now pour this into our pastry tin. Usually I would blind bake my pastry, but today I'm not. I wanna make this as easy as possible. The results still work and that's all that matters. Now for our crumble, our pistachio crumble. I'll just grab a generous handful and we'll sprinkle this over the apricots. So it's going to be golden brown and crumbly on the top, jammy in the centre because of the apricots and then we'll have the perfect sweet short crust pastry. So good. Oven is on, 180 degrees. I'm going to cook this fan forced and top and bottom heating so we get that even colour. It's going to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the top is golden brown. tart has come out of the oven, allow it to cool so you can handle it. And I love this little trick. We're just going to place the tart tin onto an upside down bowl and then we can carefully take the collar off. And you want to be careful here. I'm going to place that onto our cake stand. And just with a palette knife, we'll carefully run that underneath to take the disc off. So be really gentle with this. It's always a sigh of relief when everything works perfectly. <laughs> now this is good enough as is, but I always like just a little extra icing sugar over the top. We just sprinkle a very small amount. And there you have it, a really special tart, apricot pistachio crumble. It works a treat and it's really delicious with some vanilla bean ice cream or double cream. Yummy.